The first of two appearances by our NHL analyst and fellow Star Wars fan, Marty Biron. Marty, three straight <laughs> OT games in the Eastern Conference Final, and the Panthers finally yeah. get one, and Sam Reinhart gets the winner in OT. And, you know, you and I were talking about that. It, it felt like Florida deserved this game for sure. How'd they pull it off? Yeah. Well, they did exactly what they did in Game 3. And Paul Maurice said after Game 3, I have a lot of coaching to do. Well, I don't know why you would have a lot of coaching to do because you dominated Game 3. The shot attempts in Game 3 were 108 to, 108 to 43. Well, in Game 4, they were 88 to 44. So 2 to 1, you had the puck possession. The chances, high danger chances in Game 3, 16 to 8. High danger chances in Game 4, 16 to 6. All for the Florida Panthers. So... I get, like, the, the Rangers got the first goal, and now you're on your heels a little bit, but you have to stick to the plan, to putting pressure, to carrying the play, to have the puck possession, to play in the offensive zone. And the Florida Panthers did not panic. They mm -hmm. kept playing their game, which they did in Game 3. And Shesterkin was really good in Game 3, and he was good in Game 4 again. But over time, you're going to break that down if you don't change your game plan. And Paul Maurice and the Panthers just stuck to the same game plan and it paid off a little later in overtime, but it still paid off. And it helps when you have a captain like Sasha Barkov, two assists in this one, Marty. Uh, he's your Selkie winner. You know he's going to be incredible defensively. Was he the key to Florida's success in game four? Yeah, yeah, he's the key because, yes, it's about defending. And when Barkov is going to play against Zibanejad and Kreider and that line, those two guys, by the way, still haven't scored a goal in the four games in the Eastern Conference Finals. So that is all because Barkov is playing against them. But not only is it the defensive side of the game, I feel like Barkov in game four decided, you know what, I'm going to take a very big role offensively. Yes, on the power play. And now the Florida Panthers are five for 15 on the power play in the four game series. They were two for four in game four, which had a lot to do with Barkov. But this is a great Barkov breakaway chance that Chesterkin made the save, but it also started a minute into the game, Barkov got a chance to go on a partial breakaway, lost the puck. But right then, you're like, uh-oh, the captain, Sasha Barkov, has shown up to play, not just defensively, but he will take the puck possession to the offense and really create a lot of offensive chances in front of Shesterkin. It was Barkov that led the way, and I love watching him play. He's so fun to watch. So now it's a best of three. Game five will be Thursday at the world's most famous arena. When Marty returns later in the show, we will talk about game four between the Oilers and Stars. That's later on SportsCenter.